2003 Aloha Kelevaalokai in honor of this man of God, Lauren Cunningham. We will do a concha blow and then you release your aloha of gratitude to the creator of heaven and earth and the shouting of joy, laughter, and celebration in honor and respect to this beautiful, beautiful day, honored for Lauren Cunningham, born in 1935, 88 years of his life. We celebrate this whole weekend long. sixth Lauren passed away that day we lowered our flags to half mast today is 30 days later in which we remembered and honored Lauren and gave thanks for his life today we gathered to raise the flags again saying that we are committed to seeing waves of young people go from everywhere to everywhere discipling the nations and making all of the scriptures available in all of the languages and to lead people into the fullness of life with all the basic necessities for life enjoyed in Christian community. Today marks the start of a new season for us. It's a new day, and there's new mercy for us to walk into promised lands. In Mark 16, 15, Jesus told us to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Here we stand today, and we declare that we will stay mission true, and we will go to the alls and everys to the alls and every. Eu sempre declaro agora para todos os povos e todas as nações. Sako or har jaga. This morning as we're about to start, the reason we're gathering is first and foremost, Lord would hate it if, if we were saying anything about him and he would just point. And we all know he just point it's all Jesus, right? And more than more than I want to honor Lord, and even though we, we will do that this morning, this is to honor Lord, we're absolutely honoring Jesus. Because it's what Lauren would want, it's what we should want. There is no man more important than God, but man, there's there's very few men in our lives more important than Lord. The workout is four rounds per time, and uh, the reason for four rounds are the four legacy words. In Bible Poverty Now, uh, the waves of young people going to the nations, help me with the other two, Seven spheres of society and the Christian Magna Carta. We remember Lauren and we are so grateful for his life. We're all here because we, like millions of others, have been impacted by his life. The call of God was in this man's heart, his bones and his very DNA. That call was the very joy of his life. It never was a responsibility. It never was an obligation. He just loved being who God had called him to be. If it required sacrifice and hardship, then so be it. No price was too great to fulfill the sense of amazing honor and joy he had in following the call of God. He never, ever wavered, friends, from that ever, even the slightest bit. 